Hey guys, what's up? It is 11.49 a.m. Monday, June 14th, 2021. Okay, so finally, I get to do this. We are going to be doing a full face of new makeup. Except concealer, because I... Well, I do have two new concealers, but I actually want to do a wear test on the foundation that I'll be trying. I got four foundations this week. Well, one is not really brand new, but one is new to me. They're actually all not brand new, but they're like stuff I've never tried, so yeah. And I, I'm wearing my brand new Family Guy t-shirt. So I, I love Family Guy. I had to be an honorable mention. I mean, of course I put this on backwards. I probably spent most of my money on makeup, because I love makeup. Okay. Okay, so... The foundation I'll be using is the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. This is in shade N1. This is my first ever time using it. Like, I took it out of the box several times yesterday. I was so excited to finally have it. I wanted this for a long time because I've seen people use it in their tutorials and it just looks flawless on them. So, I was like, eh, when I finally got it yesterday. And I picked my own shade, so I hope this works good. Because <laughs> uh, they shade matched me to a shade that was way too light the last time. I'll show you. But I'm not going to get rid of it because it looks light on me. It's the Studio Fix um, Fluid SPF 15. So see, and this one's my old one right here. This is um, got some mileage on it. But I'll get it. I'll get another one later when I get some more money saved up. I know it doesn't seem like it because I get BoxyCharm subscription and everything, but I'm actually not one of those people that can just go out and buy new products every month, even though it seems like I do. I actually don't. Okay, so... Um, my sister gave me a bunch of shit, too. Like, I now have um, four foundations to try. I actually want to try this one, too, but I don't think I can do two foundations today. Oh my god, that's gross. Let me clean this off real quick. That's going to drive me insane. My sister doesn't wear foundation a lot, so I have peace of mind that there's a lot of stuff in here for me to try. Okay, the lid's not so dirty. Now, I did look at this in Sephora yesterday, and I had it I kid you not, I had no feeling, no feeling, no feeling, I had a feeling not to buy it. Like, I looked at Huda Beauty's products yesterday, and I was like, hmm, should I buy this or no? Something was telling me don't buy it. Now, I guess I know why. There we go. Now it's somewhat clean. I gotta find a place to put my foundations, guys. Like, I got a lot of them. Okay. So, I'll be using my brand new I Love Sephora eyeshadow palette. Let me text my mom back real quick. Okay, the reason I had to do that is because the air conditioning company is at my sister's house right now. Because of all the fucking times of the year for an AC unit to go out, it had to be in the dead of summer. So, uh, really? Okay, so we're going to get started now. We're just going to start with this because I am excited. Like, yeah. I feel like this will work. This is like the perfect neutral shade. Uh, it doesn't... I don't think it has a name, does it? This shake well in six different languages. It's good for 24 months, so I got some time to use it. Thank you, Mac, for making it that long with uh, its expiration. I don't know why I just pulled that out. I don't need it yet. Most products like this will only last like six months. 
Okay, so I need a foundation brush. Okay, we'll just use the one I've been using. I'm gonna clean this one with some uh, Dawn dish soap. Let me tell you why. What I do is I mix um, shampoo with dish soap. I believe, and I know that sounds weird, but it is actually the perfect way to clean your brushes, I think. Um... Hold on, I don't want to get this everywhere, and I don't want to apply too much. I feel like that's enough. Yeah, that stuff's runny, so we're going to just leave it at that. I've seen makeup artists use it a lot, so it has to be a good brand. I mean, a good type. Of, clearly, clearly, it's a good brand. It's MAC. But I did hear a lot about transfer, and I'm not too crazy about that, I will admit, but we will see what this does. I mean, I had to form my own opinion before I decide on whether I like it or not. If I wasted my money, then I think I will uh, take it back first. If I don't feel like it's covering enough, I will add a little more. Yeah, I might need to add a little more. Sorry, I thought I just heard my phone vibrating. That's weird. Ever hear, I know this is weird to say, but do you ever hear that vibrating noise out of, like, the blue? Like, your phone's going off, you look at it, and then there's nothing there. I know you probably think I'm crazy right now, but that is literally what just happened. I might have chose a shade that's a little too light right now. Maybe I need to add more. I don't know. I'm afraid to use too much of every product because, well, you know, I mean, it's expensive. And I love this stuff. Like, I love MAC, and I love Fenty, and I love NYX, and I love NARS. I got some NARS products to use, too. Well, one NARS product. I got a new NARS blush today, too. My sister gave me hers, and I'm like... It's brand new. It was still sealed when I got it. Like, the inside was. The outside looks like it was a little dirty, but that's okay. Maybe it would have been wise to use a... Uh, my new foundation brush, but that is for my skin serum from uh, NYX. It says specifically with the description of the brush, it is for that specifically. Let me shake this up again before I use it. I'm going to do this one more time, just this once. I am very excited I got this. That doesn't mean I want to waste the product. There we go. I feel like that was a good enough shake. Okay. I was going to take this back yesterday because I found out we're not going to have any money for a little while. Which kind of sucks because I like to go places. But my mom said don't take it back. Just enjoy it. It's something you wanted for a while. Okay, so let me do my forehead first this time. Let me get this hair off my forehead first. I hate when that happens. I don't always wear a hairband when I'm doing this because of the side braids. They will become very uh, hard to put a headband over. So I try not to do it. 
Unless it's like one of those elastic ones that would need washed afterwards. And I just don't want to like take the risk of ruining like an elastic headband that's a really nice one. Because of my hair. My hair can be washed at night. My headband doesn't always, can always get washed because I'm always sitting on top of my laundry. Like, I did a load of laundry today that was probably worth one Tide Pod or one Game Pod. I say Tide Pod because not everyone uses Game, but not, not everyone uses Tide, too. And my back's itchy. Probably should have thrown this in with the clothes, too. This is brand spanking new. I, I even tore the tags off this before I put it on. Man, this actually is doing pretty good. It's just incredibly hot up here. Sorry I'm doing these weird brush notions, but this is how I've done my foundation for a while. Um, and this is just how I'm going to keep doing it, because I like doing it this way. Let's get the nap to make sure there's no lines. And I will have to take this downstairs and scrub it clean. Now back to what I was saying about cleaning your brushes with dish soap and a shampoo. Um, I don't really know why I use a shampoo with it, but using a dish soap is for sure to get them clean and greaseless. And usually I'm allergic to Dawn. So, uh, you know, usually it is... why I I just uh, use palm olive or something. It also usually handles the stains pretty well and gets like the stiffness out of it. Like this is stiff right now. I need to take that through my brush washer. So I will probably later tonight or something like that so it has time to dry. The best way to get a brush to dry is either lay it down on a paper towel on a flat surface with a fan in front of it or put um, put it on one of those little brush racks you can buy from Walmart for like five bucks. I have two of those. I broke one by accident and I still kept it. Okay, so I did that. Let's take a look at myself here in the mirror. Two layers of foundation did me some good, like, that's good. It's gonna suck that it's gonna come off my nose with my glasses, since I got shitty vision. Make sure I got it nice and blended out of my nose, though, because it will look terrible if I don't. I could see that being a good foundation. But I'm just getting started with wearing it, like, literally, so we're gonna find out. Although I really did want to try the Huda Beauty one today, because I already know I can use Max Formula, but also at the same time they make different formulas. Sorry, my back is itching. I don't know why either. Let me brush out my brows. I don't know why I'm doing this first, because I'm going to do my blush next. Yeah, they're going to need waxed again here soon. I do not really like the radiant idea of this foundation, but it could be the best thing that ever happened to me. Okay, so for blush, let me get my eyeshadow out first as well. That's my eye, hard eyeshadow by Sephora. I'll be using the NARS. Um, I picked up a NARS one, but I picked up the wrong one. 
picked up orgasm instead of Desiree. Which orgasm is a pretty color, but I already wore that yesterday. This, oh my gosh. I believe I had this one too. This was brand new. My sister just gave this to me today. I think I had this. I do not remember. And I thought this was a full size. Hell no. Ulta Beauty has them in sizes about this big. Okay, let's... You know what I meant. Maybe bigger than that. I saw the orgasm one in that size and I was like, shit, that's big. So we're going to try to do this without making it look like a clown. So I got my Moda angled brush here. And if I do, then I got an idea that'll probably work. It usually does. Okay. So far, we're off to a great start. This is why I do my blush first, because my eyeshadow... I used to fuck that up a lot. I'm going to prop my foot up for a second. This is going to take me a minute to get both of my facial um, cheeks looking exactly the same because this lighting is so poor and my vision sucks. I can't wait for my new glasses to come in, guys. Like, I got a really nice set. My mom's insurance covered uh, a brand called Lacoste. I never had them before in my life. So, yeah, I'm, like, really excited because... You know, they're really cute, and the new prescription and everything. I'm excited for that. And I finally got a pair of sunglasses, too, that are prescription. So if I go in the store or go to the beach or something like that, because fluorescent lighting hurts my eyes. That's why I said go into the store or go, into, go to the beach or something like that. I know the beach doesn't have fluorescent lights, and if they do, then that's an artificial beach, clearly. But um, I think that looks good. Okay, let me double look here. Then I could just take my regular glasses off, put them in the case, and switch on sunglasses that already have my prescription in it, and I don't have to wear two glasses on my face. Although I will still keep the other one, the other set I have for my other pair of glasses. Yeah. I'm excited. Like, yeah. I hope my boxy charm comes soon. I'm like excited, man. Like I have enough makeup right now to completely throw away everything else and get rid of it. Like obviously for a new set. Okay, so we're gonna use my new um, lavish brushes here. Then we're gonna use my brand new I Love Sephora palette. I think that's what they're trying to say, I love Sephora, because it's just got those three words on the front, and there's a little heart. But this was like seven bucks, and it's really, I think it's pretty. Now, I don't normally wear colors like this, but I like this. These are neutral colors. kind of wish I'd have got another one from my mom, because she thought it was pretty, too. I mean, $14 would not have hurt, my, hurt me or broke the bank. And if it would have, then damn, I'm piss poor. Something on this shirt is making me itch. Either that or I'm just hot. Because it is hot in here. I think I'm just hot because it's hot in here. And I walked right, right to my sister's house in the dead of sunlight. get my three brushes out here. Makeup, I don't understand what my love is about it, but it has to be the fact that you can do anything you want with it. Like, so I'm just wiping off the residue from yesterday's makeup, like I always do. I mean, this used to be a hobby of mine as a kid, and now I could probably use this as a um, career. Now, I do not know these colors' names.
What's this? out the three colors here I'm gonna wear. I'm probably gonna pick the black color. Okay, so I think I got it. Black, um, this brown for, no, this brown for the crease and this one for the lid. Only thing I didn't get new this week was an eyeliner, but that's okay because I got like several of them. I probably will get one with my boxy charms prescription. If I don't, I'll probably just pick one up from the store. Pick up a new uh, Physician's Formula one because that's my favorite one to use when I use one. Today, I don't really feel like using one. I feel like today I'm just going to let the eyeshadow and stuff speak for itself. Darken this side a little bit more. Okay. So here we go. In the crease. That's a pretty palette, actually. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm just focused on my eyes right now, clearly. My right eye, um, the vision in it is worse than in my left eye. Which, as a lot of guys, they're both pretty, pretty bad. But it's been this way ever since I was 10 years old. I just noticed that over the years, the right eye is worse than the left eye. Alright, so one final eyeshadow step, and then I gotta do the lashes. A question I do get a lot from people who are close to me is would I survive the weekend without makeup? Yeah, of course. I admit, sometimes I, uh... Sometimes I don't like to wear makeup on the weekends, but there are most times that I do, you know what I mean? Like, it's there to play with, like Rihanna said. It's not there because I don't remember entirely what she said, I just remember that she said it's there for fun, you know? 
there for you to play with and enjoy yourself. I know she didn't say that part, but it was obviously implied. And I mean, she should know she invented a fucking brand. Like, probably one of the best brands in the world. For me, it's definitely a staple. I've always used, uh, not always, but I've used Fenty's foundation for probably as long as they've been around. I know that's not necessarily a real pretty look, but it's the lightest one I can come up with. And my stepmom always says, do not ever do your eyeshadow dark, because you are a pale-skinned girl. I said, that's all the more reason. Have you ever seen the punk rocker type chicks? Or the girls that wear smoky eye? They look really good with it. Okay, I gotta do my lashes now, and I can't wait to try this mascara, like, that's another thing I've been wanting to try for a little while, is the Lights Camera Lashes, or Splashes Mascara, and this is brand new, it looks like, it's still sealed in the package, or is this a package, oh my god, that is the package, that's neat, you can tell by looking at it, they've been used, Usually, if a mascara has been used, you can tell by looking at the box. Let me see if I can get this box off of here, though, because that will be irritating. I don't really want to break it, though, but that's really cool. Let's see if there's a smell to it. Usually, if there's a smell to mascara, it means it's not good. But yeah, there's a smell to it, but my sister hasn't had it that long. She wouldn't have given me something this old. Especially knowing that I've wanted this for a very long time. I actually was going to buy this a while back too, but I waited. Because I always did stick by Too Faced, and I do have my Too Faced mascara down there, come to think of it. It's in my um, Isaac Jacob box. Right now we're going to comb my lashes real quick. A lot of people wonder my secret to uh, quote unquote fake lashes is just a lash comb, guys. It's like you can get them from Target and I think you can get them at Walmart, but at my local Walmart I have never seen them. You can even use one that's a brow comb too for your lashes. Let's look at this wand here. Be careful and don't poke yourself in the eye. Ones like this are good for doing your bottom lashes, whereas the fatter ones on mascara, most of them, and this one can do it too, obviously, but most of them will get on your skin and dry in place, and it'll be hard to get off.
Okay, one more time. Going to the bottom left as well. Okay, let's do this. Looks like I got a little bit underneath my lash line, so I might have to actually add eyeliner as much as I really don't want to. And I usually add it just by accident to my ash ass. Sorry, lash line. Forget I said that. Don't kick me off. It was truly an accident. Um, but anyway, that's what I was saying. Um, if I get it on my lash line, I usually just add a eyeliner to make it look like nothing's there because it's waterproof like my mascara is and the fact that this happens to be waterproof is perfect Okay. I like with all of my mascaras, because this is royalty one. Don't worry, this didn't fall on the floor. It fell in my perfume box. I'm going to uh, clean this. I have not exactly learned what you call this thing yet. Where this little thing screws in on all of them. I'm going to clean the tube off. I actually do want to know if you can pull this out out of like, pull this out of this casing, because I've never seen one in here before, unless this is like part of the tube, because I thought this was just like a box, obviously, that it came in, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so... We're going to see what I got here for eyeliner. Let me use a different one. I actually want to try that All May one that my sister gave me. What did I do with it? I have never used an actual liquid liner except for the gel pen liners. I find them to be easy, obviously. There it is, okay. This is the one, one of the ones I got her because she uses this all the time, or this type, or she used to. Uh, I don't really know what to do with this either, to be honest. Because I have almost all of my slots full. That'll work, I guess. Perfect. It's the Queen Bee. Okay, this is the All May Intense Liquid Liner. This is only $6. I have never used it, I don't think. I think I used their charcoal pencil when my stepmom gave me one. I do not know if you have to shake it up so it didn't hurt to try. I've never been good with liners like this but we're gonna find out if I can use it today. Come on, please go on my skin.
I know you probably can't see me very well. I'm sorry, guys. I still have not figured out what I'm going to do for the desk area. Okay, that doesn't look so bad actually, for my first time using this one actually. Just touching it up. Looks like I got a little mascara down here, but that's okay. Now I gotta set my place, face in place, I'm sorry guys, my place, duh. If I could set my place in place, it wouldn't be here. It'd be in Florida or South Carolina or Georgia, somewhere nice. Er. Hey, that perfectly fits underneath there, so it spins around. That's why I wanted one of these little, um... I'll read the whole name to you in a second. Let me spin it around. Rotating Beauty Organizers. Because uh, I have a lot of stuff, right? No, I need to I need to figure it out again. I need to go through the whole damn thing again. Maybe I can get rid of the old tart mascara now that I got the new one in there, the Queen Bee. Cause the lights camera splashes is gonna be my favorite, probably. I'll lay it right here beside it for now. I'll put this on my eyeliner back up, because if I like that then I'm gonna keep it. Clearly. I'm not gonna be the type of person that if I like something I'm gonna get rid of it. Duh. Okay, now I'm going to set my face in place with my favorite stuff to use. Sorry, something got on it. Um, one Hit Item Prime Set and Refresh Dewy Fantasy Spray. The words are coming off. That's what's wrong. Okay. Maybe I should use a mattifying one today because I already have a dewy kind of radiant finish. <laughs> And that's kind of useless to redo it that way. Pun intended. Here we go. This one will work. My Slay All Day by Gerard Cosmetics one. I don't think this is a specific type. It just says setting spray. So we're going to see it. But this does work really great with oily skinned people. So here. I forgot how strong the sprayer is on that. And they are laughing by now, and that's okay. Because I'm laughing at myself, too. <laughs> Dummy. Oh my god, that eyeliner did not move. Let me get a different makeup wipe. This one's dry. Now, my face burns when I touch these. Um, these are the Equate Beauty Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes. So I just use them on, like, my lips and to clean products off and stuff like that. Okay, so now all I need to do is put on that lipstick I got yesterday. My mom bought her first face of MAC, first full face at MAC, I mean. Well, it's a full face to her. To me, a full face is buying one of everything. But, you know, we all have our differences. 
So I ended up getting a MAC lipstick for free in a beautiful shade called Work Work Work, which is Dutch for Work Work Work. See, so knowing a different language is not completely useless, and having a Dutch grandma was not either. I remember that because she, when she could not remember the English word for it, she would replace it with the Dutch word. And this is the actual top right here, so it says, if you can see it, work, 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 W-E-R-K, 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 work, work, work. Ulta Beauty gave me this for free. It's a beautiful red, but they say it goes on pink, so we're going to see here in a minute. I'm going to put on some chapstick first, because my lips are now chapped. And I got three other things to dig out of this bag before I throw it away. I forgot I had these. I guess I got a bunch of new faces to try this week. Including this beautiful thing right here. I'm going to put that in my brush caddy. Oh, yeah. They even gave me a little lip uh, oil with the stuff and an eyeshadow gloss topper. I have never heard of that in my life, so if you have, smack the like button. If you're new, please subscribe, and please do know that I have vision issues. My right eye is worse than my left eye. I know I should really start leading with that. I am so sorry that I don't, because I'm me at times. <laughs> well, I'm me all the time, clearly, but, you know. This is going in with my other MAC lipsticks. I need to put on a chappy stick. Today, I'm going to be using my Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips one. Works really good. Moisturizes the lips. But like usual, I'm going to leave it on for a few seconds. Then wipe it off with my fingers. And then we're going to put the Red Beauty on. I was so freaking happy when I got a free MAC lipstick. I just wish they would have let you pick the color, to be honest. But this is not a bad color. This is actually very pretty. And it's got a... Oh, it's got a pad in there. That's what any one of my other ones does, too. They say... And I'm not... I know this is weird because it actually came from a place that is endorsed and sell, sells MAC. That if uh, there's a pad in the MAC lipstick box or top, that it is a knockoff, but I don't care. The lipstick's a lipstick. So we're going to see here. Let's adjust it away from the tube. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Okay, let me do around the lips in the mirror. This way I use the little edge part here. It didn't come off like I wanted it to. That sucks. Yeah, it didn't come off like I wanted it to, but that's okay. It's still a pretty color. Like, I wanted it to be all the way around the edges. Maybe I can fix that real quick. But I'm still not going to get rid of it. I like the color.
Sorry, I'm very picky about lipsticks. That's why I don't wear a lot of them. Because there's been times when I would go to put it on and it would just jab right into the side of the stick. And it just uh, pissed me off and upset me and made me very sad at the same time. But if I take this color off, I've got literally about... I don't even know how many other lipsticks in here to try by MAC. A couple of them I did buy at TJ Maxx. I don't really think that there is such a thing as MAC knockoffs. I got, let's see, two, four, five, six. There's a seventh one in there, but it's the same one as the mini chili that's in here. Which is just what I picked up. Chili is a beautiful color, by the way. If you haven't tried it, you definitely need to try it. I could punch myself for not getting the full size when I found it at TJ Maxx. My mom says you only live once. And I love that color. Like, I've used several tubes of it before. Let me look down in here. I got a lot of stuff in here that I take care of. I'm probably going to put my new MAC foundation, foundation, foundation in there. Um... Because my MAC concealer is in there, my blushes are in there. The only thing that's not in there is my uh, paint pods. Because I do use those every once in a while. I'm just giving this eyeshadow the benefit of the doubt. Alright, so this is the finished look. Let me take the tripod off so you're going to hear a little that. This is the tripod. It's not ideal, but it is a different look. Something I'm not used to. The blush is a little pinker than I thought it would be, but that's okay if I grow to not like it. I can just put some bronze. Damn it, I don't have bronzer. Well, I do have one, but I don't know how to use it, but, um, highlighter over on it. And if I do, it'll probably be, like, a gold color. Like this one right here. But I actually think this looks okay, actually. It's pinker than I'm usual. U usual. Usually look... Sorry. Used to. Anyway, it is now 12.38 p.m. I'm going to go. All right, bye.